all right, shoot, what's up? <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, these? Yo, first day of full team. Oh my gosh. Let's go. 30 seconds of breathing. Well, they're gonna have to listen to me breathe. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> me when Emily's trying to talk to me? <laughs> Cause she'd be making me laugh too much, bro. Jordan, you look so official with the whistle, man. Oh my God, that rhymed. You look so official with that whistle. Oh, thank you. It's like, you know, with the behind the neck look, it's, right. They have electronic whistles these days. <laughs> oh my good gracious. Yo, we're the last house standing, man. Well, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true. I know, I gotta go knock on some wood before you know it, man. Yo, I really hate contacts, I'm getting used to it. Here's a side. Hi, girl. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that one hurt. Are we doing a relay right now? Oh, thank God. He gonna... did oh. it, bro. No, where's the group? Where's the group? Get our group. Get our group. Get the good group. Not that y'all aren't good, but hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Oh my goodness. I'm not ready. Hey, Adam. Adam, but give it to me. Give it to me. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. I don't know what winning in this feels like. Oh, I'm, I'm ready for the stretch. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> oh, dang it. They beat me in my own game, man. Yeah, go, oh my good. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we all have bad throws. Gracie, give me this ball. Your life depends on it. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, that's a, oh my God. What? They're being nice, they're being nice. Give me it, give me that. Becca had that, Becca had that. Hold on now. I gotta tighten my shoes. I'm about to run out of them. See? Give me it, give me it, give me it, give me it, give me it. We still won that. We still won that. Oh, oh, go, 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 go! He caught us off guard. He caught us off guard. How do your socks fall down? Does that mean you got no calf muscles? Like, come on now. Oh God, I gotta get my stride on. I gotta get my stride on. Here we go. Uh, we had to have, I mean, if we didn't, if we didn't, I don't know who did. Oh, Kylie, I like the shoe on the left side. Are we going on me? All right. Why do I run to right field? Come on now. Then I said focus. My focus. My pants are falling down. <laughs> That's your focus? Your pants falling down? <laughs> you even have a hair tie in that thing? Okay. No, she does not. Okay. Here you go, Gab. See, she got Bermuda shorts too. Everybody's on the wave. Everybody on the Bermuda shorts wave. What's up? Here you go, Izzy. Oh, bang. Dinger. Gone. Gone. Out of here. Hello, Becca. My former roommate, my current roommate, my love of my life. Oh my gosh, always Jordan. Always with the shoe untied. How convenient. Testing, testing. Testing, 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 testing. Is that episode of SpongeBob? All right, so who wants to go first? Do you want me to go first? Yeah, All right. So we're getting a mixed variation. Oh, geez, okay. That'd be cry, I know. Oh, that one was odd, but. 
do, 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 do. What are these guys doing in here, huh? Oh, that's that's in there. Don't hit the don't. Yeah, there you go. These baseballs. How do how do guys play with this? So little. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, that that was so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, they just caught that on camera. Hold on, hold on. Can I tie my shoe? I have a problem with my shoelaces lately. For some reason. Okay. Okay. I'm ready when you're ready, my guy. I hope. Free Coffee Mondays for members only. Try the smoky dark berry notes of New Explorer Batch or the rich bold taste of New Dunkin' Midnight. Let's get it done with a free medium hot coffee on Mondays for members only. Join on the app today. America runs on Duncan. Out here, if you have the will, you can lead the way with the all new Fisher Easy V V Plow. Purpose built to provide industry leading features, performance, and efficiency, just like the other V Plows in our lineup, but in a lightweight design that's ideal for businesses and homeowners using half ton trucks. A strong yet versatile plow that handles the work and won't back down. The all new Fisher Easy V V Plow, built for Fisher Nation. For more information, visit fisherplows.com. Free Coffee Mondays for members only. Try the smoky dark berry notes of New Explorer Batch or the rich bold taste of New Dunkin' Midnight. Let's get it done with a free medium hot coffee on Mondays for members only. Join on the app today. America runs on Dunkin'. All across New England, business owners are finding new ways to succeed. Families are working hard to provide for their loved ones and their future. It's the spirit of New Englanders that inspires all of us to do more. It's in our employees, our customers, and our communities. Every day we do more. Because at Bangor Savings Bank, we truly believe you matter more. Hi, my name is Shanna, and I am the founder and president of the ASL Club at University of Maine. Hi, my name is Cam Spicer. I play for the University of Maine men's ice hockey team, and I'm a member of the American Sign Language Club. Hi, my name is Morgan. I'm a part of the women's swim team, and today I'm going to talk to you about the University of Maine's ASL club. I uh, initially started the club. I wanted to for a few years, but with uh, my major being biomedical engineering and being a member of the softball team, it was pretty challenging to get that started early on. So. I, I had waited until it felt like I could really make something good with it because it was important to me not to just start it, but to make something that could last a long time. Our organization's purpose, our club's purpose, is basically just to keep spreading awareness about ASL and deaf culture because a lot of people don't know about it. And people don't know about the gap between the hearing and the deaf community. Ultimately, our goal has been to provide a resource for people who have have uh, interacted with the deaf community in the past and people who want to learn more about it and also people who want to learn more about ASL and how they can contribute to uh, bridging the gap between deaf and hearing people and being more empathetic and loving the people who have grown up their life with a deaf family member, deaf family member or deaf themselves and everything in between. A, a main goal is building connections for me, getting people to learn about deaf people, deaf culture, and I'm definitely still learning myself. I, uh, I still know that I have a lot to learn, and that was an, another reason, because I wanted to continue to learn. I guess the easiest way to kind of explain my 
feelings toward it is through like a short story about when I was in high school and one morning I sat down with my ASL teacher who was deaf and we were in um, one of those teacher lounges and we were the first ones in there and then that morning maybe six or seven other teachers came through all hearing he was the only deaf person at our school and each one of them walked into the room each one of the hearing teachers walked in and said oh hi good morning to each of the other hearing teachers and not one of them said hello or good morning to my deaf teacher and it just made me so sad because it, it almost like it I don't think anyone did it maliciously but it's that they didn't know they didn't even know how to say hi good morning and something small like that, if I can even get that to people, if someone comes to one club meeting and can learn that, just to say, hi, how are you? I think that really can make a difference and just showing people, hey, I care enough to let you know that I, I see you and I want you to feel heard in a way, you know? It just feels important to me to build connections and this one has kind of just stuck out in my life. So obviously when I was taking, I took, I've taken ASL 1 through 3 now and I learned the language and I feel pretty conversational with that, but something they really stress like immediately when you get into ASL is a lot of people think sign language is a direct translation from English to sign and it's not. American Sign Language is its own language completely and there's all um, different sign languages across the world. You have American Sign Language, Spanish, French, so it's different between countries and regions. I've learned a lot about the deaf community, which is something I kind of fell in love with in that they're very open and almost, I feel like, more close-knit because of the visual language. An example I always like to think of is how hearing people, we can just talk from like separate rooms and just scream across and have a conversation, but deaf people, they really have to, you have to be looking at each other, and I feel like that makes a closer bond just the visual language. And that is um, something that I would say has kind of just changed my perspective on life is hearing stories from deaf people and their experiences. And so it's kind of hard to speak on it um, just because it's not my own experience, you know, but um, just in general, I've realized so many things. One, facial expressions are a huge part. It is part of the grammar in American Sign Language. If you're asking questions, there are certain things like rules with your eyebrows, where if you're asking like a yes or no question, your eyebrows are gonna be up and they're gonna know you're um, looking for a yes or no response. But if you're asking for like a, they call them WH questions, like who, what, where, when, your eyebrows are gonna be down. It's pretty vital to actually getting across your point, what you're trying to say when you're signing. So that in itself with the masks is extremely challenging because it takes away half of your face. And then even with people um, think that the clear masks help. And another thing I had not thought about, which was brought to my attention this semester, was that even those have a glare. And so it still makes it challenging to read lips and see the facial expressions, even with a clear mask. I think me and Morgan and Shanna are all very passionate about this club and the future of it. So I'm sure there'll be some level of involvement in the future to make sure that the club grows and prospers and has a bigger impact uh, from what we're able to accomplish this year. As far as my plans with ASL, I, I really have just tried to gain the best exposure I can so that it's a, a skill set that I have access to when I have to encounter a deaf person in the future. And, Hopefully it'll help me uh, bridge that gap and bring them into whatever hearing community or other community that I'm a part of. And uh, I view it as a way to grow in my ability to be empathetic and compassionate towards other and others. And ultimately that is something I plan to continue forever after graduation. It may, it may be through ASL and it may just be through a couple of interactions, but uh, I'll cross those bridges when I get there. I, uh, I definitely love my major, it's really amazing. And I am doing an internship now with an amazing company called MedRhythms. And they, um, they work with um, survivors of neurological um, disorders and diseases like stroke, MS, Parkinson's. And in some ways I can kind of see how this path can almost help me make connections maybe later on to 
help the deaf community in new ways that might actually be able to connect to biomedical engineering. Um, I mean, who knows, that would just, that would be great if I can find ways to do that. But in general, I just would love to be able to become very fluent so and just be able to get a certificate and become an official interpreter and go help people in that way because I think there are not enough of them. Even my high school teacher was highly encouraging me. He would look up colleges <laughs> that had programs for me to be able to do that. He's like, oh, you should go here, you know? <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm already going to the University of Maine. But, um, but it encouraged me even more just the kind of hope that he saw in me and my ability to sign and learn it and that he felt like I could contribute in that way just has pushed me more to hold on to that and and feel like yes like this is something important that I can do that I think will help others feel better and that's that truly is how I feel just going about life like that's really why I chose biomedical engineering and that's why I'm passionate about ASL I really just look to find ways where I can truly help other people and who knows I'm probably not doing it right all the time but that that really is my goal and and that's what plays into all of my big life decisions so however I can do that I'll kind of change my path along the way whatever that means. Do you know your main dairy farmers? Chances are we're a lot like you. We are parents, grandparents, we are small business owners. We are a part of our communities. We are your neighbors. We are undeniably dairy. At U.S. Cellular, we're building a powerful 5G network that works without interruption in the places you wouldn't expect. And with every plan at U.S. Cellular, you get access to 5G at no additional charge. So no matter where you are, U.S. Cellular's network always keeps you connected in the places you need it most. At U.S. Cellular, all of our plans include 5G and get unlimited data for just $30 a month with four lines. U.S. Cellular. Life's full of little accidents. And the Hyundai Tucson helps make sure they stay little by alerting you if you drift out of your lane and even gently correcting your steering. Because unlike your favorite shirt, you are irreplaceable. Hyundai, the longer you look, the more there is to like. Lease a 2021 Tucson for $159 a month or get 0% APR for 60 months plus 500 bonus cash. Offers end soon. All across New England, business owners are finding new ways to succeed. Families are working hard to provide for their loved ones and their future. It's the spirit of New Englanders that inspires all of us to do more. It's in our employees, our customers, and our communities. Every day we do more because at Bangor Savings Bank, we truly believe you matter more. Yeah, it's good. Hey, hey, hey! You got it, you got it! 
Good shot, Callis. Good shot, Callis. I got point. Over the top. For every so offensive rebound. Like if three, if white, I'm going to yeah. keep track of offensive rebounds. If white has three offensive rebounds, you guys have three sprints. At the end. At the end of the court. All right. That makes sense. What do you want to set up? Oh, if we do it, rub. Rub, it depends who I have for. If both of them are in. If both of them, so yeah. for funny, probably. Yeah. But and you always start with the same side as her. Sure. I got three. It's OK. Yeah. I mean, honestly, you can stay like in the low gap, so she might drop it off to you if your defender comes. Yeah, it depends. I got you here. Got you here. Bo. Good. Double down, double down. That's it. That's okay. Legs, do you guys want? I got you. Got you here. Back down. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, same thing. I got ball. I see you. Nice. Oh, you can go point. Good. I got zero zero. Alright. Going to the diagonal. Okay. Here we go, horns. Got your Go off me. I got ball. Diagonal, I see you. And then double down. Nice. Back. Here we go, you got it. Yeah. Here you go, one more time. Leave me. Play my, play my, no, play my role. Horns. Good. Look for her. Double down. Ball.
Hey, Black Bear Nation. It's time for another edition of Coaches and Cars, presented by Quirk Hyundai. Today we have Amy Vashon, head coach of Maine women's basketball, test driving the 2021 Hyundai Kona Ultimate. Hi, Amy, this is Don. Hey, let's talk a little bit about the upcoming season. I know you're excited about that. Hey, Don, yeah, we're, we're really excited about it, for sure. Talk about some of the things. I know you got a lot of great players coming back who are going to be part of this team. Yeah, so we do. We have a lot of kids who were uh, injured last year, um, who are are have worked really, really hard in their rehab over the summer to get back. Uh, we have five seniors, um, two are fifth years with Blanca and Fani, who didn't play at all last year, really. Uh, so they're they're really excited to be back and. And also, uh, you know, the other three, Dor, Maeve, and Kelly, who um, I can't believe they're seniors. It's a little crazy. <laughs> and one of the things with you, it's, it's the culture, the fact that uh, uh, everyone gets along well, it's a family, but yet the, you're always striving to be the best of the conference and take that game to a higher level. Yeah, uh, you know, our program is, I'm so fortunate to be the coach of our program. Uh, we have great, great players, great people in it. Um, they uphold our standards so very well. Um, you know, they, in the classroom, on the court, in the community, they just, they, they do a great job and uh, they compete like heck, um, no matter what it is. So uh, no matter who we're playing, whether it's an opponent on the court or, you know, it's a test that we have or another challenge that is thrown in front of us, um, we like to, like to go after it for sure. This is Coaches in Cars, and you're driving from Quirk Hyundai, a Hyundai Kona Ultimate. Tell me more about this car. Yeah, this car is nice. You know, it's all high tech. I, I don't really know all the buttons. It's way too high tech for me, but uh, it's nice. I think it's pretty good on gas from what, I, what I've been experiencing here. So uh, it's a fun car to drive. <laughs> It is the young, hip, tech, savvy, savvy vehicle, uh, rated uh, best for uh, safety. But, uh, you know, you're young and hip and tech, so that's, it's perfect for you. Well, I don't know. I don't know if any of those adjectives truly describe me, but it is. I can tell you that um, it would be. I know my players would love to drive it. I know that. <laughs> And the great thing is it has a lot of safety features, including driver retention warning, lane uh, keep assist, blind spot warning, and high beam assist. So those are always key things when you're driving because, hey, not that we do, but occasionally we get distracted. Yeah, and I'm looking right like in front of them, the wheel, the windshield, it has how fast I'm going with the speed limit and this cool little like reflection. I, this is really neat. I, I like this car. 